guys, what's going on? Welcome to OTGW Adventures. Adventure time. So today we're really excited because it's cold outside. It's the yeah. winter, as you know. So what happens in the winter? You want to eat something nice, warm, yes. and hearty, correct? With soup, a lot of uh, fermented vegetables, nice hearty meats. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm not a huge meat eater, as you guys know, but this guy is. Meatitarian. But right now, I'm definitely feeling meaty right now. So today we're at a Northeastern restaurant in Flushing. And if you guys don't know much about Northeastern cuisine, the three provinces that make up the Northeast in China are Heilongjiang, yep. Liaoning, and Jinning. Liaoning is my favorite. Why? I have no reason, I just like you that like one. You like the name? I like that one. <laughs> That's a reason to like it, if you don't know anything about it. But anyways, up there, it's really close to Russia, so yes. it gets really cold. Yeah, it does. Really cold. I mean, like, it's like the coldest parts of China. Exactly. Yeah. This is why a lot of the foods from this place, that's why you get a lot of casseroles, yes. you get a lot of savory meats, yes. game meats. They also use the technique of roasting. Yes, yes. right. You're gonna see a lot of cumin, a lot of spices nice. in the food, because they want to keep warm, exactly. hearty and warm. Anyways, it's nothing like the cuisines of the southern right. regions of China. So we're gonna show you guys some really awesome dishes to get when eating Northeastern Chinese yeah. cuisine. So here we go. All right, guys, we have our first appetizer dish. This is a dish you 100% must get when eating Northeast Chinese that looks food. Insane. This is uh, mung bean noodles, yep. cold. This is a cold dish, but right. sesame has cucumbers, garlic. I'm talking, my mouth is watering. Yep. I'm so sorry. It's got beef um, or pork. It's got, no, it's, uh, it's beef or pork. Yeah. It's, it's, that's pork. That's definitely pork. Right. And the key ingredient to this is sesame sauce and jiamu, which is. Uh, uh, what is this? Uh, mustard, hot mustard oil. oil. They're gonna mix it up for you, and then we're gonna like dig into this thing first. So I made a mistake. Sorry, this is actually wasabi oil. Oh. So now we gotta kind of mix it, mix it again. All right, there we go. And uh, hope to God you didn't get all the wasabi. I like that. It's good, but honestly, it's really good, but I kind of wish I tried it without the wasabi first. That's not how it goes. It has to have wasabi. Really? That's part of the dish. This isn't like you want to have wasabi or not. You have to have wasabi in this. <laughs> you did it. Oh, you took a bite of the wasabi. I'm going to do it. I would order this again without it just to try it, because um, because right now I can't taste anything but wasabi. Okay, you're worse. you got to eat this with wasabi. This is not even that much wasabi. This is fantastic. I love this. This is a great starter. He's dying. He's dying. You want some more? Where's that box? <laughs> some more. No, no, I can't do it. I can't choke it down at all. It's like every, every. Don't be like this. All right, Team Mike, Team Dan on wasabi. How much do you like it? Sanxian Shui Jiao. What's in here right now is leeks, shrimp, pork. Those three. Right. And that's very traditional uh, ingredients for like a, a dumpling. I'm not a huge uh, shrimp fan in my dumplings. Right. I usually just like leeks and right. uh, pork. Yeah. But I think it, I love it. It adds a dimension of texture and mm -hmm. crunch to it. Um, but let's just try it. This did vinegar. You, did, you, did you just dip oh, yeah. my, <laughs> my dish? I taste the bacon shrimp right away. Good. Yeah. Oh, this is a really good dumpling. Um, bite. The skin's a little thick for me. Oh, really? Not for me. I like it because you can definitely taste the different flavors. And there's, the a little, there's a little juice. It definitely tastes the shrimp, yep. probably even above the pork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I like that. Okay. So, Northeast, bunch of dumplings because it's, it's very hearty. Yes. It throws you off, it's very warm. I mean, there's a lot of meat in there. Yeah. All right, guys, here's another dish. It's called Di uh, San Shen. Yes. So, it means that three, the three fresh from the earth. So, you got eggplant, you got they use hot green pepper. Mm -hmm. You can also use green bell pepper. And also there's potatoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one, it looks like there's a little too much sauce, which, you know, I, I can understand, right? Uh -huh. They think a lot of people like sauce, but normally you're just you're just supposed to have enough sauce to coat all the vegetables. And the way you cook it is you actually uh, stir fry each of the three ingredients separately and then add it together in one. Right. Because it takes different times to cook them to the right uh, al dente. Now, now, here's the thing. I, I'm not big on vegetarian, right. purely vegetarian dishes, right. as you guys know. Right. Um, but this is one of the most popular don't right. Eat dishes, right? Because this, the idea is that these are like ubiquitous vegetables that everyone has growing in their in their backyard. Here, I'm going to get you some. All right. I'm going to get you a uh, eggplant, some pepper. Give me a potato. That's, potato. that's the closest thing to meat right now. Yeah. Potato. Oh, 
This is really spicy. Woo! First of all, um, I don't feel like there's a lot of flavor in the vegetables no. besides the potato. Potato was done beautifully. I think they fried the potato first and then they cooked it in here because the potato is kind of crunchy on the outside. And then definitely it is spicy. Yeah. It is spicy. Really spicy. I like it that it's spicy. I, I think it'd be better if there's some pork in there. I don't know. <laughs> no, you're right. Look, yeah. I prefer pork and vegetables. Yeah. But I guess the roots of this is the idea that anytime you go into your backyard and you grab these vegetables yeah. and you stir fry them, yeah. and I really like the eggplant because it's it's to my liking. Right. It's not too hard. So, so all right, it's not a bad dish. I wouldn't eat it if you know I had a choice. Right. But it's, it's okay. I actually order this a lot every time you I do. Get it. I do. Okay. This is more your type of dish, right? So I've had more yeah. colorful. It's a really famous Northeast dish called uh, tofu skin with pepper. Yeah. It's a little spicy because you see it has the chili pepper here. Yeah. And whenever you see chili pepper with seeds, it's going to be a little spicy. You're going to feel it. But it's a white sauce base and it's slices of thin tofu yeah. skin. Yep. This dish is amazing. Because, right. you know, tofu is one of my favorite things, especially like when they like make it into a tofu skin. Right. The texture changes to be very chewy right. and it's beautiful. And it's uh, a beautiful dish to look at too. Dude, take that. Yeah, I'm gonna take some uh, take some tofu skin. All right. Let's give this a try. Mm. Okay. Just it's by really looking good. at it, it, really good. it looked, the, the consistency mm -hmm. of the sauce looks really good. It's not too watery and it's not too thick. That's really important. There's a, it's a little spicy. Excellent. It's a little nummy. Mm. Um, they definitely put a little hot on here. Um, I can see the garlic. I like that. That's what this I was This is tasting. really, really tasty. The sauce goes perfect with the tofu. You got the little crunch. They put the uh, pepper in there for color, also for crunch, right? Because tofu yeah. consistency is very, you know, it's chewy. It's, it's not very crunchy. Right. So this dish together, this is amazing. It's an amazing dish. Yo, my MVP in this is that little bit of a. Uh, Watch out taste. Yeah. Gotta get this when you try Northeastern Chinese food. Al dente. I love it. This is a must-have Northeastern Chinese dish. You're looking surprised. I had this before. That and was it's amazing. Freaking amazing. This is uh, dark sauce with Chinese, uh, or not Chinese, but Shred, pork. Yeah. Shredded, Shredded pork. pork. And on the bottom, it will have scallions yep. and uh, cilantro. Cilantro. A lot of people don't like cilantro. I don't understand you. Yeah. That's <laughs> weird. Okay. Yeah. The way to eat this is actually really unique. It's basically you wrap it up like a burrito. I right, see that cheese tofu burrito. Chinese. I've never seen this before. You make sure you grab the bottom. See the scallions on the bottom. Are you blowing my mind right now? Yeah. Here's what you do. Make sure you get some cilantro. <gasps> oh, it's on the table. It's okay. Three second rule. It's all good. It's all good. All right. You wow. see that? Okay. You wrap this. You can do the edge to edge wrap. Mm. Hey, hey. This is like. Asian pigs in a tofu blanket. <laughs> My love affair with black bean sauce goes back to thousands of years. It's that deep. This is black bean sauce with the pork, with the cilantro, with the scallions. It's like sweet, savory. Oh, this man. is what goes really good with tofu, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you can't really wrap this with like, mm. like a rice shell or like a typical mm -hmm. spring roll shell. This is the way to do it. Ah, we're gonna fold it, give it another fold. It's like a blanket, I'm putting it to sleep. You know, you know me, I only like tender meat. That meat is tender. That meat is tender. You gotta have tender. It's beautiful. Yo, what is that? This in Chinese is called chuan bai rou. Okay. Bai rou, if you guys don't know, is white meat. It's no, it's white meat. Well, it's kind of white meat. Pork, the other white meat. Okay. This usually means pork belly. Gotcha. Oh, okay. So here we have pork belly, oh sour God. cabbage, oh, yes. uh, rice noodles. Yep. I love sour cabbage. This is a this is a typical shagul. This is yep. shagul casserole. Right, but this is, is hot? especially made. This this pot is made out of sand. Oh yeah. This is typically how Chinese men would stew their casseroles yep. in this kind of pot, and it gives it a very unique earthy flavor. Yep, absolutely. So let me let me just dig in for you a little bit. Um, Show us some stuff. Stuff is on the top. Like okay. I said, you see the pork belly. Yeah, yeah. The rice noodles. And this dish is gonna be a little sour. I bet you that's extremely that. savory because of the pork soaking in there. And this dish you have to cook a long time because you have to get all the flavors. This is gonna be umami bomb in your mouth, my god. The soup is gonna be amazing. Oh Scoop some my. noodles, sour oh cabbage, oh my. get some pork belly in oh there. My. Now try oh that. Oh my, oh my. Okay, ready? Bon appetit. Bon appetito. There is no better soup to drink than kind of a salty, savory, sour, sour soup mm. in a winter time. 
And that makes sense because if you know Chinese medicine, the sour flavor relates to a certain organ in the body that's really good for the winter time. I don't know it off the top of my head, but look it up. If it wasn't so hot, I would put my face in that. It's just like, just eat it like that. This is amazing. It's such good soup. Oh man. It just warms you right up. You gotta have some hot oil. I think spicy and sour is one of my favorite. I'm getting some hot oil. Can I just show you guys with some hot oil? The soup becomes extra better. Really? Yeah. Mike does know his hot oil, so. Oh my god. I believe him. This is a new dish that just arrived. Guo pao yo. Alright, guys, guys, don't mistake this yeah. with like when you go to like one of those like takeout places. Like sweet and sour pork. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's junk. Okay, this is essentially sweet and sour pork. Chinese sweet and sour pork. Right. But it's exactly. And here's why it's authentic. Okay, first of all, the pork pieces, the uh, the mixture, the batter, it's not just like flour. Yes. Like they put a lot of ingredients in, so they coat it and then they fry each one, um, deep, basically deep fry each one, right. right? And so they don't stick together. Right. They're all the right proportions, and it's just crunchy. the most tender cuts of meat from the pork, exactly. uh, the tenderloins. Exactly, and, and they don't just dump a bunch of sauce on there. You know, the sauce is carefully mixed. It's sweet and sour. Look at that! Here, have one. Go ahead. Just take it. Just take a bite of this because that's what I'm going to do. This is what I'm talking about, right? Mm. When you get fried stuff, a lot of times in a non-real tra tra traditional Chinese restaurant, mm -hmm. it's too much dough. They Gosh. just throw it in flour. This crunchy oh adds God. another layer of flavor and taste. It's almost like the crunchy shell has a flavor in itself, right? And let me tell you, the sauce, it's so good. It's not overly, it's got layers. You can taste the sweet, the sour, and the salty. It's not just overly sour. No, it's sweet. so good. It's so flavorful. All right, we're going to feast on this. Being foodies, we definitely have privileges, I yeah. guess. So yeah. we were given this beautiful dish by yeah. the restaurant. Yep. This dish is one of our favorite dishes. We actually talked about it in our Sichuan video. And we, this is actually a Northeast dish. Yeah, Songshu, squirrel fish. The way they make it, yeah. it's actually complicated because they have to cut it into cubes. Exactly. And they basically cut the meat out for you. Exactly. And this sauce, they say, this restaurant, they are the first ones to make this in around, I guess, this area. Yeah. I guarantee you guys, this is the best way to eat fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. let's give this a try. See how easy this, this meat comes off? Oh, you could smell it. Oh man! This is an amazing. Uh, come on, bro. I've, I've had squirrel fish yeah. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like this? The sauce is really good. Oh my god. Because you can tell by the color. First of all, sometimes when the color is too red, it's not right. Mm -hmm. This is like between red and orange. This is how it should look like. Oh my god. I've had this dish. I had this Comes dish. out so easily. Look at this. Because they deep fry it. Yeah. If you're a big fan of sweet and sour, this is how you will want to eat your fish. Oh my god, so good. Mm. So good. Who says Chinese don't have awesome desserts? They're Who said wrong. that? They're wrong. Because I will put this up against your best cannoli or whatever you want to eat. Yeah. This is called bas. Yeah. Literally, it means pulling strands. You know why it's called pulling strands? Show them. Let me show you something. Show them. Also, uh, I just want to say, this is made with three different kinds yep. of uh, starch. It, starch. Yeah. You got your apple. Well, that's not really true. Oh, it's right, right. Uh, sweet potatoes and taro. This is a combo platter. So here's why they call it basil. Yeah, so look that, at that. It's yeah. like basically it's sugar look, syrup. Look how that's been, I'm, I'm about to stand right here. Oh, that's gonna get it right on me, bro. <laughs> and what you do with it's this? Like is, candy. You take this and then you dip it in cold water. Watch what happens. The strands breaks off. Yeah. Now you get one chunk without strands. Yeah. But when you bite into it, you can you can get a hardened candy shell. The inside is still hot. Really? You gotta dip it in water? Uh huh. Okay. You hear that? Oh my gosh. Is that <laughs> I gotta try that. I gotta try that. The inside is so hot the and delicious. <laughs> this is a sweet potato. See that? Go oh, bot. Stand up, buddy. You might not be tall enough. I'm not tall enough. All right. Alright. No, dip it, I'm gonna dip it. Dip it, dip it. Dude, it's like a crystal. No. Dip. You want me to bite that? Bite that. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> it's like crystallized sugar on the outside. Crystallized sugar. Inside is a mushy uh, sweet potato or apple. I wanna find an apple one because. Oh, here's an so apple good. one. Here's an apple oh, one. I'm gonna try apple. This is the only way I'll eat apple. Oh my god. I don't like apple either, but I'll eat this. Mm. I guarantee you, this is the best way to eat apple on this planet. You know on this why? planet. 
Because the apple's sour too. It's yeah. Sweet and sour. You know, you know what it, you know what you know some people they they caramelize apple like they, they dip yeah. the whole apple? No, I don't like that. How do you even like that? Is your mouth big enough to fit an entire apple? No. Like how do you crunch down on that? And you'll this hurt is how you should do it. Hold on, I'm trying taro. Right, Dude, you could throw this at someone and injure them. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Can I say that you gotta eat this quickly, otherwise it'll stick into this one big pile, and then like you're done. Your dessert is over. Oh, oh, oh. So here's what we've done today, guys. We basically almost annihilated everything we got with some help from some friends. Because just us, I think we would just be stuck like eating two, and then that was it. With this guy with me, I mean, this guy can't take down much. Although um, I didn't love it. Right, so what did you think of what you I love it. My favorite, um, I gotta admit, the, the dish I ordered, the three vegetables, I was alright. Tell them what I just said to you. Uh, I'm never ordering skills. Mike said I'm never allowed to order again. He's ne never allowed to order again. Um, He's never allowed to order again. I'll tell you what, I loved the uh, sweet and sour pork. Loved it. Um, this was amazing. Uh, the soup with the pork belly and the cabbage. Oh, and of course the uh, burrito with the uh, yep, yep, yep. Shred, shredded yep, pork. Yep. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. This is, this is my favorite dessert on the planet, basically. Like, you can keep your cheesecake. I'll, I'll take this. I totally agree, man. So that concludes our Northeast food adventure. We yep. still got so much we more to lot. explore. Definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, we're gonna take you guys around part of our Off the Great Wall Adventure series, so don't forget to check back. You know, make some suggestions what kind of food you want us to check out. Absolutely, guys. All right, thanks so much for watching. Yeah.